Look at that one. Big blue claws on them. Welcome back to another video, guys. So in my last few crayfish videos, I got a couple people uh, commenting saying that I had to try bacon for catching crayfish. So in today's video, we're pretty much going to do just that. I'm going to take these four traps out. I got a pound of bacon here. And we're going to see how many crayfish we can catch. So I'm going to load up this stuff and I will see you guys down at the water. We made it down to the water here. I got this bacon and I brought four traps. So I'm thinking that we can do probably two to three slices per trap. Bacon is kind of tough. So I'm thinking that it might take them a little bit while to chew through this stuff. Hopefully they don't uh, eat through it too quick. Otherwise probably won't attract as many crayfish as it could. So in our first trap here, I think I'm going to take three slices in this one. Ooh. Look at that. So we got three slices in this first trap and this stuff is really obviously fatty and uh, oily and everything else. So I really do think that this is gonna attract some. You guys said that it works pretty well. All right, I know it doesn't look like much, but like I said, I'm hoping that they uh, have a little while to dig through it. They don't make it all go away overnight. So we're gonna give this trap a toss out here. And then we're just gonna tuck it under some of these rocks, try and camouflage the line here on the weekends. No matter where you are, people tend to find your stuff and possibly take it. So don't want that to happen to us. We've had enough traps stolen over the years that uh, no need to lose anymore. That line will sink down to the bottom, but trap number one is set. For trap number two, I'm gonna put in uh, probably four slices into this one. Looks pretty uh, good and rocky here and everything else. So, whoop, gotta pick that up. Anyways, four slices for this trap. Hopefully, uh, hopefully one of these traps at least gets pretty loaded up. That would be uh, that would be ideal. How could they even resist greasy goodness? All right, got our trash. Second trap is tied off to this little plant here. Should be pretty good for traps number uh, three and four here. I'm just gonna use up the rest of it. Should be about three slices in each trap here. I think that'll be plenty. It's still a little early in the season and uh, with the weather cold and everything, they probably won't eat through it all, but I could be totally wrong and we could come back and have these traps empty a bait and full of crayfish in the morning. For number four, I'm just gonna throw it kind of close to number three. I think that uh, this is a pretty good spot. I have been seeing a couple of crayfish around here, so I think that will do fairly well. They do a pretty good job of picking up the scent in the water fairly quickly, so I think that uh, with any luck, we'll have some luck. Trap number four is set and tied off to the little uh, plant here. I will see you guys, well for you it'll be about two seconds, for me it'll be about 24 hours. And hopefully in the morning, we have a pile of crayfish. Trap number one here. have yeah there's a couple in there probably about 15 or so i guess and a couple of bluegill i gotta get those out of here we're not allowed to keep uh bluegill all right we'll get these two little guys back in there they go not great out of this first trap, but I figured if I could get like 30 out of each trap, especially with the weather that we're having right now, uh, it would be considered a success. Also, the bacon's totally gone, so I do wonder if they ate through it really quick and there was just nothing to really interest the rest of the crayfish uh, to go into the trap. That's also a possibility. I'm not entirely sure. Let's go check those other traps. All right, trap number two here. There it is. There's actually some bacon left over in this one. There's a couple more. Looks like only the fat's what's left over on the bacon. That really isn't that bad. Uh, obviously in our best bait for crayfish video, we caught a whole ton more. If you guys remember that video, we caught like 70 in some of the best traps. So definitely not the best bait, but I'd say that bacon definitely does work. Yeah, it looks like all that's left is just the fat on the bacon. 
which obviously bacon's mostly fat, but not bad, definitely a couple. If I had to use them just for uh, fishing, this would be plenty of bait. Trap number three here. Man, pretty much about the same in each of these traps. I'd say this one has the most, probably over 20 in it. Not bad, we're getting a little pile there. Get that last little bacon out, that would really stink. <laughs> Look at that one, big blue claws on them. They're clean too out of here, which is also pretty nice. A lot of spots you get them, they're all muddied up and dirty and stuff, so have them with no, uh, none of that algae growth on them. It's nice. Okay, checking trap number four here. Oh, really no bacon left in this one. Probably another 20 or so. Like I said, we're gonna give them a count when we get back to the house. We're back at the house here. I got them uh, ready to be put into another bucket that's just filled up with regular water. That's just to let them purge out and everything. I'm gonna throw an aerator in here and uh, give them a couple days to get rid of their poo and everything else. One, two, three, four. One eighty-two. Ooh, a little bit of bacon. We don't want that in there. So eighty-two. Uh, a little bit less than I thought. So we got eighty-two out of the four traps. So that's about twenty a trap or so. Not too bad. Uh, not great, but not bad either. Bacon definitely does work as a bait. It's just pretty expensive, and I'm sure that uh, eating it would give more value than trapping crayfish because of all the other baits that you can use to catch these guys. If you want to see what my favorite bait is to use to catch these, check out my best bait to catch crayfish video. I'll leave it on the screen here somewhere. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like and also subscribe. There's going to be more videos on crayfish in the future. And also, if you want me to try a certain type of bait, just let me know down in the comments below. I'd be happy to give it a shot. Thank you so much for watching, guys.